everybody, welcome to iBeauty Makeup's channel. Uh, today I have a quick tutorial to show you how to um, take a little bit more advantage of the new Pro Long Wear um, SPF 10 foundation from MAC. Um, this foundation is getting a lot of um, a lot of hype. It is a really good foundation. Uh, it stays all day and all night if you need it to. I think that, uh, it, you know, especially if you're going out clubbing and you fear that at three in the morning when lights go on, you might not know exactly what people are going to see um, after you've danced all night or, you know, you've been inside somewhere that uh, any party anything you know after it's been a few hours we don't look as good as when we actually entered the room um, one of the problems with um, that a lot of people are having a little bit of a hard time including myself is the fact that because it is such a long wear foundation it's almost it behaves almost like a very heavy coverage foundation which in reality it isn't it's a medium to buildable coverage but when you are used to very very light foundations and very glowy type skin very yellow uh, nar sheer glow when you put this on it may feel like uh there's a lot of makeup on you and it's heavy and, and you may not like what you see um, so I found a few tricks how to dilute it to make it look very very natural um, like your skin uh, to have a very similar result to um, something like Nair Sheer Glow and at the same time have the longevity of the product because um, unfortunately if you start mixing it with a lot of things then you may lose uh, the actual purpose of the foundation which is how long um, and how well it stays put for as long as possible so I have two tricks that I've tried and they've worked really really good for me um, and everything goes back to basics um, this is a water-based foundation so the first thing you need to know is that when you're going to mix it you have to mix it with something that is also water-based because if you add an emollient base or a silicone base um, type of product like a primer or a moisturizer that is um, um, oil-based or, or is not oil-free or not water um, water-based uh, what's going to happen is that it's going to make this glide and it won't stay that is one of the reasons why this is water-based so um, the first thing that um, one of the good moisturizers that I found that is water-based that I could use that with is the um, Garnier Moisture Rescue don't know if you can see that this is a gel and is water base. It's a gel and it's water base. For those viewers that are either in Europe or Canada, uh, if by any chance you don't have this, um, this is pretty much a dupe from uh, Biotherm or Biotherm. Biotherm. Um, water rescue or something like that I don't remember the name it's been so long I used to use it like ages ago and it's a gel moisturizer water base and um, it's very very um, I don't know if you can see it in the cap it's quite um, you know like a gel pretty much and um, because it's water-based then you're able to mix it with this and it works great and then the second thing I found um, if I want to keep a little bit more of the coverage but not feel like I have you know like I can see the makeup um, then I go with um, MAC face and body foundation uh, because this is also water-based and because it's tinted then it helps this not get diluted so much another thing that I like about this is that this foundation is very yellow based um, compared to all the other foundations like the tone is very very yellowy and uh, I don't know if others that have it can agree but 
I'm not even my my shade I had to take a shade lighter because they run really dark and it's very very yellow so uh, by mixing it up with my color my designated color of face and body then I can balance it out so let me show you real quick what how this looks I'm gonna show you in this hand with the moisturizer so all I do is that I'm going to take a pump I'm gonna do half a pump of the foundation and then I'm gonna put some of the moisturizer a little bit over here here you go this is what it looks like so let me do a swatch on the side with the foundation by itself so I have a swatch here and let's see how this looks if I spread it out so I'm going to take a foundation brush and I'm going to mix the um, other squirt that I have over here with the moisturizer. And there's the difference between one without moisturizer with moisturizer. Now let me go on the other hand with the face and body so again I'm going to put some of the foundation here and some of the face and body I suggest that you use um, try to get something like this um, like a mixing tray from either Michaels or something like that they sell them quite cheap um, these little things in here are quite handy when you're trying to mix um, makeup and stuff like that so here you go we have both foundations you can see that one is a little bit more pinky a little how you can see how yellow the um, uh, the pro long wear is and they're both my shade this is C3 and this is um, NC30 so there you go let's mix it and here you go now obviously it's going to take a little longer to dry than it would without um, this one is already pretty much getting dry let's see if you can see the difference between one and the other so that is pretty much the trick that I found worked for me. Uh, by mixing the foundation with these two products, I'm able to obtain a little bit more of a skin type of finish rather than the cakey, heavy, um, full coverage uh, finish that this tends to give you if you are not really used to wearing something this heavy. I know that there's a few people out there that um, love um, Stay Lauder Double Wear and uh, that is another foundation that is definitely for coverage and for uh, people that um, are used to that then I mean this is this is great but this video is obviously aimed to um, pretty much everybody that uh, like me are used to a more lighter coverage and um, still want the benefits of the Pro Long Wear without the um, unfortunate um, thick look that uh, the prolonged wear can give once is um, dried up so um, let me see if this dried up let me see if I can show you once again I mean this one looks with the um, moisturizer it looks awesome you can tell um, I don't know if the camera is picking it up you can tell that the, the the part here the swatch that I did without the moisturizer it's a lot thicker a lot um, more heavy than um, the the one that I applied the moisturizer with and the one where I have the face and body mixed with the uh, pro long wear is still drying a little bit so um, that is another um, 
plus uh, if you find that this dries way too quick and you don't have time to blend and just get it all in place before it starts setting um, by adding a second component whether it is an water-based moisturizer or uh, something like face and body um, from MAC then it'll give you an extra little bit of time for you to work with it. So I hope uh, this helped you. I hope that um, if you do have this product and you give it a shot, you let me know how it went. Let me know if uh, it worked for you and if you like the results. So that is about it for this video. So thank you very much. Till next time.